Fred Harvey raised the bar for dining and civility in the American West after starting a chain of Harvey House restaurants at stations operated by the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad. And it all began in Topeka. This is Tim Wrencher, the history guy for CJ Online, talking about Harvey, who is 40 years old and had experience with both railroads and restaurants when he took over the eatery of the Santa Fe Railway in Topeka in 1876. The Kansas State Historical Society provided this photo of that building, where Harvey quickly gained a reputation for serving ample portions of good food in elegant settings at reasonable prices. Harvey went on to develop a chain of Harvey houses at Santa Fe depots. What really set those places apart were the Harvey girls, unmarried young women of good character and morals whom Harvey hired to serve as waitresses. The Harvey girls were credited with bringing graciousness and a sense of hospitality to the unsettled West. They generally lived in dormitories near the restaurants where they wore black and white costumes while working. By the time he died in 1901, Harvey maintained at least 45 restaurants. The decades that followed brought continued popularity for Harvey houses, including their being the subject of a 1946 Judy Garland movie called The Harvey Girls. The Fred Harvey Company operated restaurants and hotels until it was sold in 1968. Today, Topeka's Great Overland Station remembers that tradition by holding quarterly Community Harvey House luncheons, with the next being scheduled for July 12th. This is Tim Rencher, the History Guy, for CJ Online.